madam president first of all i just want to express my real disappointment at the recent council decision. i cannot say i am shocked because this is not the first time we hear such a message from the council. so what are they saying to us? the crisis is over? the crisis is raging and refusing to accept that and deal adequately with it is just plain unreasonable. it is also dangerous but that is another story. or are they really saying to us we are giving up on social solidarity and workers and countries are on their own. I can understand some member states do not support the globalisation fund. They believe it is not a suitable instrument. However, four different compromises were presented and none were successful. So I believe some member states have simply set their face against this fund that offers European added value to redundant workers who have lost their jobs because of the financial crisis. They want to cut the fund to minimise it. Yet the number of applications under the crisis derogation continues to rise and significantly more and more countries are accessing the fund. Just when the fund is really up and running, the brakes are being applied. Yes, we can improve the functioning of the fund and hopefully we in the Parliament will help to do that over the next few months. But the Council ignored the Commission and the strong views of the Parliament who adopted the Commission's proposal without amendment. We have been sidelined and what is incredible is that some of the countries in the blocking minority have successfully accessed the EGF for their own citizens who were made redundant due to the crisis but now they are saying to other European citizens we do not think you should access the fund under the same conditions as our citizens. We are going to make it more difficult for you. As I said, I am not shocked but I am genuinely saddened at the absence of solidarity. It is not a good omen.